us welcome our dear family member. Yes. <laughs> the prophetess, prophetess Donna, Donna Rigney. God bless you, prophetess. We love you so much. Glad yes. to have you with us. So glad to see it's you. So Oh, it's just a delight to see the two of you. Uh, you know, it, God did such a wonderful work when we got together for that first Glory in America event just a few weeks ago. He just knit us together like we were family, like we knew each other forever. It was a wonderful, yes. wonderful thing he did. Oh. It really, really was. I'm telling you, it was like, you know, when you when you talk to a dear friend or family member that you don't talk to all the time, yes. but whenever you come together, it's like you didn't miss a beat. It's like you you start with the next sentence. Yes. You yeah. know, it's just like yeah. it's natural. <laughs> <laughs> and what happened too was was amazing uh, was that all the speakers, it happened with everyone that was part yes, of it did. the event. This great love and bonding and unity. And we were all on one page. It was just, yes. it was so wonderful. And you know, that's just like the atmosphere of heaven, the love and the unity because the glory was present. You just spread that love all over us. And, the, and that love spread out all over the people that were there. That It was just the most wonderful, wonderful event. Yes. And we went to it from our church, came back. They can't wait for the next one. They were so happy. They were part of the first one and they just, they felt so connected and so loved. They felt loved and cared for. Wonderful. Yes. I'm telling you, the love of God, the glory of God, it was just incredible. The healings, the signs, the wonders, the miracles. Um, like you said, uh, it was just incredible. All of those that were at the event, speaker-wise, I'm telling you, we were just a big fan. And we were just flowing we were. and going. It wasn't, none of us missed a beat. No. It was just right on target, right on sync. And the glory of God was poured out. I'm telling you, it was so incredible. many lives were impacted. And, you know, just what God did in that, in that event just was so amazing. And, you know, now we have some incredible people that, have locked arms with us and joined our church. And so even what came out of that from the people that God connected us to, and it, it just has been, it's, it's been so, so cool. Yeah. Yeah. It really has been. So tell us, uh, prophetess, go ahead. Yeah. I, I feel like that's a prophetic picture. Are what you happened with us? Yes. I am. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Uh, that what happened at that Glory in America event, it, it's a prophetic picture of what God is going to do as his glory spreads out all across America. He's going to cause yes. us to be yes. one nation once again, one nation under God, indivisible, huh? With liberty and justice for all. That's what's going to yes. happen. And what happened at this event is a, is a prophetic picture. It's a foretaste. This is what's coming as his glory, because that's God's purpose for doing, even for you doing this ministry. Yes. yes. Part, part of the peace that he's putting in place to spread his glory out all over America. Because he wants that love. He wants that unity. He wants us to be like one big, happy family. Getting along. Yes. Loving one another. Huh? Loving God. Because we love God so much. And his presence is so Jesus. overwhelming on us. We can't help but love one another. It's going to be wonderful. <laughs> That's right. He's given us taste now on the earth and so we all just better get get used to it yes. because we're a big happy family or yes, should be are. anyway and uh, should be just operating his love and his glory and backing yes. his goodness and that's what, it and that's what like. it's going to be like in heaven yeah and that's what it felt like at glory in america I mean, we felt so connected to the people and we literally felt like they were family and we just wanted to love on those people. And we wanted to see those people delivered and healed, set free. And we wanted to see their lives change. And 
God did it. He really did. He really did it. He really we got did. so many testimonials and so many people that have just said, you just don't understand. It changed, it my, changed life. my life. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the emails and the messages are still coming still in. Still coming in. From, from, from the event. And it's been almost, can you believe it? It's been almost, it's almost a month. been a month. I can't yeah. even believe it. I know. I got, I got one today. <laughs> so, from the event too. It just, it, it's, <laughs> so exciting. it's so exciting. Wow. That is doing. We're having, it, we're having yeah. a little bit of a lag here. Yeah. For some reason there's a lag. But I, and I, I, I noticed too, that your, your picture isn't clear on my side that you're, can you hear us? Okay. Prophet. I can hear you good, but I can't see you all that well. It's not clear. No, it's not clear. It's very, okay. Um, Cloudy. We are. It's very fuzzy. You're yeah. clear on that. Yeah, you're clear. Yeah. And um, and we're clear on this end, but um, like I said, I you know I don't the, know if the, the stream has been a little bit choppy. It's a little bit choppy, yeah. So I didn't know how it how it was um, you know, on your yeah. end. I in my end I I can hear you fine, but the focus isn't very sharp of the of your okay. picture. Yeah. Okay. It's getting better. It's, it's getting sharper. Okay. Yeah, it's buffering. It's buffering. Yeah. That's the thing about live. Praise the Lord. You just never know what the internet is going to do. Hallelujah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. So you've, you got some testimonial or you got a testimonial in today. That's awesome. Yes. yes. That someone was, they saw my, um, I put the flyer up on Facebook and they saw that we were doing mm -hmm. the show tonight. And this person um, messaged me that uh, she was so excited to watch it because she got such a wonderful healing uh, of her lungs and her heart uh, at the event. And yes. So, yeah. So God yes. just did wonderful, wonderful things. What I feel like God is showing me is that as he pours his glory out, that many times when I've been to visit in heaven, what happens is, mm -hmm. is I feel the atmosphere in heaven. And the atmosphere yes. in heaven is the glory of God, the love of God. It, it, it yes. just feels like you're breathing in love and, and you're just getting bathed in love. Like God stands yes. in front of you and throws a bucket of love all over you. And that's what it yeah. feels like. <laughs> and I, that's what's going to happen in this great revival that's breaking out as he pours his glory out. What he's doing is sending the atmosphere of heaven to the earth so that the atmosphere here on the earth is going to shift and change what the enemy tries yes. to do. He tries to bring the atmosphere of hell to the earth, which is mm -hmm. hatred, bitterness, wickedness, corruption. And he, that's his goal is to send as much of, hell to the earth, earth as it can. But what God's goal is, <laughs> is yes. to his glory out, his goodness out, and chase away that wicked, hateful, demonic atmosphere that the enemy's been pouring out on the land. We're going to see a big shift. Just like we felt that atmosphere at the Glory in America event, that's what's going to be happening all over the world, not just the United States, all over the world. Amen. And we've seen that in Kentucky. I, I got a list that was sent to us. Of course, we've been hearing about the Asbury meeting yes. and, and Lee University and um, another couple of schools that I heard of in Ohio. Yeah, one in um, Michigan. Another one in Michigan. Yes, Detroit. Uh, Texas. Detroit, There's just uh, outbreaks right now all across America. Uganda. Uganda, other Israel. <sighs> Wow. Countries I'm around. Telling you, ever since Asbury, it is it is breaking out all over. And our, you know, our church service on Sunday was intense. Oh, it was. I mean, I, Jesus literally physically walked into the room and he told <laughs> Brett, I'm here. And I saw him out of the corner of my eye. And I was like, oh my gosh, Jesus is in the room. And all of the people were touched. Every all everyone was laying out on the floor. Yeah, it was incredible. <laughs> everyone encountered. We the glory. were worshiping, and the glory of God was so intense. And um, I saw literally, you know, 
of course, you felt him enter the room. Yes. The spirit of God was here, but I felt him into the room. And then I saw him in my spirit, in my eyes. I saw him not in a physical form yes. as, as far as, you know, touching, but, but he was here. I watched him walk down the aisle. He stood here beside me and he said these words. He said, Brett, I'm here. It's time. That's all he said. And, and then, and then it was a few minutes later yeah. that Marianne, I said, he's she standing looked, next to she you. couldn't even stand. She was on the floor and I he was said, on my knees. I see Jesus. He's standing beside you, Brett. And so <laughs> that was after the Lord had already come and already spoke to me about what he was getting ready to do. Mm -hmm. And then we had a dear lady that came for the first time, visited yeah. for the first time. And the glory of God fell. man, my hands are going numb right yeah. now. The glory of God fell. And, and, and the Lord said, my glory, I'm pouring my out my glory now and I'm releasing fire. And I just said fire. And when I did, the woman that was standing right here, the power of God hit her and she hit the floor. I mean, boom, <laughs> and begin to shake under shaking. the glory of God on the floor. And then from that point, moving forward, I'm telling you, the glory hit this place and my everybody God. was out. And people were literally being transformed. It yes, was incredible. It was. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. And I'm thinking that when he said it's time, he's just meaning it's time. I am now releasing my glory. Yes. Hallelujah. Absolutely. I, I'm, I'm going to share a word he spoke to me this afternoon yes. that just absolutely goes right along with what you just said. All right. My God. <laughs> he said, I will open up other revival centers for my children to gather, to encounter Lord. my presence, to hear my words, and to feel my touch directly. Oh, ha. So, you know, some of us are like, oh, I want to go to Kentucky. Jesus. Jesus. And God's saying, I am go just what he did for you Sunday. And he's been doing this in, in, for us in Bonnell at the Church on the Rock. He said, I'm opening up other places so that it's not going to be just two or three or four or five it's going to be multitudes of revival centers and he said my sleeping bride is being awakened so that she can and will fulfill her true destiny and this is what he said the destiny Jesus. of his bride is okay so there's a purpose why god's pouring out his glory like this not just to make us feel good which is wonderful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, and we love it so much. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> you can understand why the kids don't want to leave and they're there night after night, day and night. <laughs> That's right. You don't want to and leave. Yes. Feeling yes. So and you know, for some of these young, these young Pastor, Christians yeah. and students, you know, they have had an encounter with Jesus that will literally yes. transform their lives forever. And they will never want to not be in his presence. Yes. That's why the word of God says, taste and see that I am good. Yes. Because yes. one taste of the master one and you taste, don't want to stop. And you don't want to, you don't want to <laughs> stop. That's right. Once you've had the real, once you've had the real, you don't want the counterfeit. <laughs> and the, right. the world offers the counterfeit. And so once you've, Tasted the real, uh, the counterfeit. Yes. Yes. Jesus. No good. No you good. You can't just work it up. Happening. This is. Yeah. That's right. These kids are it's tasting not something the real to be worked real, up. Real They're tasting it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Pastor Rin, he opened up his church on Saturday night for worship and they went all night. They, they, <laughs> they stayed the night with their blankets and we're there the next morning. And then the next day, the youth started. started. His whole youth stayed there and didn't go home. And I don't know what they're doing, what they're doing tonight, but they're on fire. I'm telling you. And that, that's exactly what he said. I'm going to repeat again yes. what he said. I will open up other revival centers for my children to gather, to encounter my presence. Okay. To hear my words or to feel my touch. But, and then this is what he said, that when he does this, it's going to cause us to be awakened and to fulfill our destiny. And this is the destiny of his bride, the bride of Christ, to be a mighty conqueror of the forces of evil, 
We're not just going to be feeling good. No, this is so wonderful. There's a purpose. God's got a purpose. He wants to raise us up to fulfill the destiny and the calling in our lives. Because, you know, without vision, what does scripture tell us? My people perish. It we need perish. to have vision. That's we right. have goals. We, we need to accomplish something positive in our lives. And he says, I'm going to equip my bride as I pour out my glory. Yes. Oh, yes. she will fulfill her destiny. So everyone that's listening, God's going to get you up and moving and you're going to accomplish yes. what you need to accomplish. So number Come. one, a mighty conqueror of the forces of evil, a truth teller. His bride is called to be a truth teller, an ambassador mm. of God's kingdom. We are called to be an ambassador. We are called to represent the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And the, what an ambassador knows what the king wants, knows what the president or the leader wants, and is able to represent that king or that leader to other leaders, just as if it was the king standing there himself. And he says, that's what my bride's going to do. Represent me so accurately because she's going to know me so well. Okay. Uh, and then a sold out lover of her God. And the Lord keeps having me turn in my scripture to the story of Martha and Mary. And Martha's busy, you know, trying to get food ready for the company and get the house all ready. And Jesus is there and she's all frustrated. And Mary's just sitting, her sister's sitting at the feet of Jesus, just listening to him and looking up into his face and just spending time with him. And Martha's like, Jesus, make my sister get up and help me. And he said, Martha, you're busy and troubled about many things, things that really aren't important. She's found what's important. She's found the real. And I'm not going to yes. take that away from her. And so he's saying in this hour, he's going to raise up those who are sold out lovers of Jesus, lovers of the Father, lovers of the Holy Spirit, <laughs> that they're not going to want anything else. <laughs> but him and to do whatever he wants just to please him. And then he said, a limitless work will be accomplished by my revived bride. A limitless work. There's going to be no limits placed on us because we have the glory, the power, the presence, the goodness of God, the wonderful Holy Spirit <laughs> filling us. He says, there's going to be no limits on what my bride's going to do in these coming days, okay? And he said, and this world will rejoice as it is transformed by my spirit and my bride walking together through the land. So he said that the, the whole world is going to rejoice. Now, you know, we've got the spirit of God, we've got the glory of God in us. It just makes you feel so happy. <laughs> and that joy is just going to spread all over the land. And he said, shining my light in the darkness. This is what his bride's going to do. Shining my light in the darkness, expelling demons and setting the captives free. Will she joyfully do in the fullness of our authority as she wields the sword with the precision of one who is trained by the expert marksman, Holy Spirit. That those, those that are, go, are soaking and marinating and sitting at the feet of, feet of Jesus and marinating in the glory, in the presence of God, oh, 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 going to rise up mm -hmm. and do limitless, be limitless in what they're able to accomplish by the power of the Holy Spirit. And he said there that we will be trained by the expert marksman, he said, the Holy Spirit. Yes. Wow. Holy Spirit. What's this? What are we going to use? The word of God. Yes. Oh, oh. Incredible word. Incredible Woo. word. Donna, why don't yeah. you take the next few minutes and minister to the people? Because I feel the glory of God. Yes. I do Jesus. too. <laughs> Jesus. I feel the fire. <laughs> yes. Woo. Just as you said that you were going to raise up many revival centers. And you said that wherever you send us, we release your glory, that your glory will yes. fall. So 
Father, in the name of Jesus, I release your glory now. Let your glory fall on every single listener. I command right now the fire of God, fire fall from heaven. Oh, ignite a blazing, passionate fire in our heart of love for you, love for Jesus, love for the Holy Spirit, and love for one another. Oh, flood us with your love, Lord God. Change us from glory to glory into the image of Jesus. Cause us to be those sold out lovers of Jesus, that we will lay everything down just to serve Jesus. Oh, that nothing will be more important than Jesus. We pray, Father, for everyone that's watching, but we pray for all your loved ones. I'm feeling this, that you're saying, oh, this is nice for me, but I wish this was going on for my kids and my husband, my wife. Uh, Father, your hand, your arm is not too short to reach them. And we ask, Father, that what you're doing for us tonight, do it for them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And raise up multitudes of revival centers in people's homes. Yes, Father. Yes, Yes, Lord. We don't have to be in big churches or buildings. We can be in our homes with a few people gathered. Let revival fire fall. Yes, Wherever your presence is, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' Jesus name, name. hallelujah. I'm telling you, Donna, I feel God so strong right now. It's just incredible that when we come together, and that's what his word says, where two or three agree agree in my name, there I am also in the midst of them. That's exactly right. He didn't say where thousands gather. He said where two or three are. Yes. Now, of course, we feel him, you know, intensify when there's many, many thousands in an arena or an atmosphere, you know, but his word specifically says where there are just two or three in agreement, you can guarantee I'm going to be there. Yes. And I'm going to release my presence and your lives are going to be changed. And that's what we're seeing here in our church, our home church right now. As we have since glory in America, we have had 18 visitors visitors. show up. We've grown overnight. Hallelujah. And they're coming back every single week. Yes. God has touched their lives. And so now we have got in contact with a realtor and we're trying to find a place that we can go to call home. <laughs> but it's the hunger of the people. Yes. You know? and, and then of course we've seen Asbury and we've seen these other campuses and we've heard oh of God, yeah. churches and other venues and men and women of God who are who are facilitating the glory of yes, God they are. and like yourself there in your church yes. and you know, lives are touched and changed and people want more. My God. <laughs> yeah. This past Friday night, the glory of God was so strong. Our son John came and he was ministering in the prophetic. And I was at the end of the night. Now we were there from six o'clock. Now it's midnight. <laughs> The glory of God is all over the place. And he's prophesying over individuals who God was getting those words and and piercing all the people there. And the glory was so incredibly strong in everyone. People were weeping. People couldn't stand up under the glory. I could barely walk to go from person to person to release the glory. God's moving so powerfully. We're going to, we are just going to, we're just beginning to see what he's going to do. That's right. And this I told the, the people that Sunday. You did, yes. I said, the Father, in fact, the Lord began to speak and he said, I am just now beginning just to show beginning. you my glory. And yeah. I thought, my God, help us. <laughs> 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 because of what's about gonna to happen. Able, we're not going to be able to walk or even speak. Well, you know the I mean? word of God said, and his train filled the temple and they yes. were all all on the floor All like dead floor. men. Yes. You know, I read yes. a scripture in John, I believe it was first John and the word of God says, and not too many people have actually uh, maybe read that scripture or know it's there. Mm-hmm. But even when Jesus was being taken, mm-hmm. you know, when he was being taken by the guards, they, yeah. they said, who is Jesus? And he said, I, it is I. And the word of God says that the soldiers dropped as dead men. 
Wow. Because of his authority, because of his power, wow. his presence. In other words, he was letting them know, I'm letting you take me, boys. You have yeah. no idea who you're dealing with. Yes. <laughs> I'm allowing this. <laughs> but that's the glory we're about Jesus. to experience. And it also, with the reign of glory, is also the word of God says on the just and the unjust. So as, yeah. as we are also praying that the Father will touch the unjust yes. and transform their lives, we yes. also know that as God pours out on his own people, there's also judgment coming for those who have turned away. Yes. You know, and so we are praying that, you know, in this hour that those who have turned away will come back to, we'll him. Come back yes. to him. And this will be yes. an hour of great repentance. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, as you've prophesied, as, as I've prophesied, as Dr. Manuel and so many others, mm -hmm. that this is also an hour of exposure. Yes, it is. So we know that the Father means business. Yes, he does. And he's visiting us and he's showing us his love and his power, but he's also he going to stop on the evil. He's Hallelujah. Exposing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, this is the hour where, where the Father has shown me that, that he is coming as the just judge of all yes. the earth. Yes. Okay. He the is, lion. we're going to see justice and mercy are the foundation of his throne. His throne. We are going That's to see right. his justice because God is just. He loves justice. Yes. And we're yes. also going to see his mercy on those that repent, that run and turn from their sin and return to him. We will see his mercy. And we'll see his Jesus. mercy and compassion on those who have been afflicted by the unjust. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. we're yes. See, we're we're going to see a great overturning. We're going to see a great exposure. We're going to see God bring justice to the earth in the glory, in the glory, in his goodness. That's part of his goodness. That's part of his attributes. He's pouring his presence, who he is out on the earth. God is love. Yes. But he also is a God of justice. And truth, yes, truth he is. is going to be spread all over the land where we have been deceived and many people have been deceived. Oh, now yes. are pouring out. It's wonderful what's coming. Wonderful. I cannot can wait. I'm telling coming. you. Yeah. And uh, many years ago, and it's in my book, The, uh, the Glory of God Revealed, in chapter 20, uh, the Lord, the last part of my book, the last third of the book, um, is all about what's going to happen in the future in the glory. And in chapter 20, uh, I wrote, the Lord gave me this prophetic word maybe 10, 15 years ago, that he was in this last revival that's coming, this end time revival, that he was going to start it with the children. Oh, wow. 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 That I am, the name of the chapter is, I'm going to use the lowly to confound the wise. And he said, yes. I came on a donkey in the Mary's womb into Bethlehem. He said, I came on a donkey, oh, which is a lowly animal. I came on a donkey yes. into Jerusalem. And he said, I'm going to be coming again on a donkey, oh, Jesus. during this end time revival. And what he meant by that, he, he explained it to me. He's going to use the people that we consider lowly. And yes. that's starting with the children, those that have a, and also those that have a low opinion of themselves, those, not the high, high up ones. He's going to be using those, the no name people that people really don't know so well, uh, the mothers, the fathers, yes. the ordinary people. He's raising up oh, the ordinary people to mm. do extraordinary things and Glory. You can see it happening now. He's beginning this revival. Oh, just like he said he was going to with the children, with this Generation Z. Oh, yes. Ooh, yes. Jesus. And the smaller ones, too. I mean, yeah. even in the last week, our little Hannah, three-year-old, is singing songs. Making up songs. Making up songs. And we're repeating her as she's singing them. And then I go into their room and her and Angelica are laying hands on each other and Ooh. saying, in Jesus' name. Yeah. And are, but they're Yesterday, falling back. They saw and, what happened on Sunday. Yeah. And of course, they were they were playing in Jesus' name. And yes. one would fall back. And then the other would get up and say, in Jesus' name. And the other one would it fall worked. back. 
It we're was so like, cute. Oh my but, gosh. But they were experiencing what what happened what Sunday. Happened? And then they were like, wow. They're praying over each other. <laughs> Hannah put her hand on Brett's knee because, last, week. last week because Brett's knee was hurting him. And she she was like. No one told her to do no. it. No. What did she say? She Cut came up Jesus and she said, knee. daddy, I'm going to pray for you. Yes. Put her hand on my knee, lifted up her little hand. Now, this is our three-year-old. Three-year-old. And said, in Jesus' name, <laughs> touch my daddy. Just like that. I mean, she said it like that. Just she, like in that. Jesus name. Literally. I mean, she emphasized Jesus. She did. She spoke it like her daddy and her mom. She did. <laughs> she did. And so, I mean, and this is three and six year old, six yeah. years old. So I'm, I'm like, wow, God, you know, God's going to use even the small. That's right. Well, generation. Definitely. Uh, they're going to begin to prophesy. Yeah. We've been seeing that in the church, too, on uh, Friday nights, people that bring their children. We don't have child care. But people bring their children. We have snacks for them. And the, and the children love it. Well, they're going home, and they're praying. For, like one of them, the father, his foot was bothering him. He was Something was wrong with his foot. And the little boy knelt down and got down on the floor, put his hand on his father's foot and prayed for him, and his father got healed. Oh, wow. Wow, and, Jesus. And his father told me, he said, you know, my son, all on his own, is in his room reading his Bible. God, wow. so I'm not just saying just Generation Z. Yeah. God told me he was going to use the children. The children. The revival yes, was going to begin with the children. Is it going to stay just with the children? No. It's going to spread to everyone. But he's going to begin it. That's the where he's going to stop this revival is with the children. The foundation I was talking to Marianne the other day about it. Mm -hmm. I said, you know, I believe that what the Lord is doing is everything has to start with the foundation and it, and it starts with a hunger yes. and it starts with the people gathering together. What happened with the book of Acts? They were all in yes, one, accord, one accord, in yeah. one mind, in one spirit. They began to sing. They began to edify the yes. Lord. They began to lift him up. They were hungry yes. for a visitation. And yes. then what happened? Suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. And I always tell the people, if you come with an expectant heart, the father will always show up unexpectedly. Yes, he will. But if you come with expectation and yes. faith and a hunger, I'm telling you, you can't go wrong because the father, he is triggered by your hunger yes, and your is. anticipation for him. And he will come to mm. you right then and there. And I'm telling you, that's exactly Jesus. what I we're about to experience, so even more so than what we have already heard about in the Ooh. news. What we've not, not to put down anything that has happened. It's amazing. God has began and yes. we're seeing it. But I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, hearts. this is just the beginning. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. He promises us that he will satisfy the hungry. That's what scripture says. And so I always tell everyone at church, make sure you have a big hunger. Because that's right. Mm -hmm. Jesus promises that he will satisfy the hungry. If you only have a little hunger for God, then he's just going to pour a little bit in to satisfy yes. you. But if you've got a big hunger, <laughs> yes. he's going to pour yes. a whole bunch in, buckets in, to satisfy <laughs> that hunger. So go to, yes. when you go to church or when you meet together with your, your loved ones that are praying, you come hungry, starving, That's right. famished. For his presence yes. and his glory. And he's going to pour out a whole bunch. <laughs> well, he said it. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst, for they shall what? Be, be filled. filled. And even Lori here, she said, I came hungry Sunday morning and I was touched. She's the one who fell out. God hit her, God with, hit fire. her with fire. And she, she, she was she changed. Said, yeah. I mean, God shifted. I believe God shifted everything for her. That it day. was incredible. And, and from that manifestation and what the father did with her, I mean, it just began to flow. Yes. The Holy Spirit, the fire, the power, the glory of God began yes. to flow through this whole place. Yes. Everybody and was on the floor. Everyone was on the floor within the next few minutes. It was just glory. just like a chain reaction. Bam, 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 bam. It was fire glory storm in this place. It was. <laughs> it was incredible. She's put up these fires. Fire, fire, <laughs> fire, fire. It really, it really was. And, you know, she came to our church because she was on uh, Dr. Jolin 
a Whitaker's live with us when yeah. we were talking about Lori in America, and that's how she heard about us. Yeah, she wasn't able to come to the meeting, but she heard about us. She, yeah, she heard about us through and Dr. There she Jolyn is. Whitaker's yeah. live. And she said, I was drawn. The Lord drew me. And I knew that this is where I was supposed to be. And then she came for the first time yesterday. And God, I'm telling you, he didn't just touch me. No. He hit her with he power. He hit her with power. It My was incredible. God. My God, it was incredible. I have never seen anything like it. It was so amazing. <laughs> she said, even though I was out on the floor, I could hear the, the others, others hit the hitting floor. the floor. <laughs> wow. And he did it. He did it twice to her. Actually, yeah. it was the first time, but then he, he did it twice. And so, my God, Kristen, I'm having 10 women come over Wednesday, and I expect the Holy Spirit to show up. Amen. Oh, you yes. just watch what he's going to do, Kristen. <laughs> you just watch what he's going to do. Those of you that are hungry, those of you that are gather in your homes, even your homes, what I said on Sunday morning, I told everybody what you need to do is get up in the middle of the night and say, God, I am going to stay here until you show up. I'm not going to sleep. I'm not going to eat. I'm going to stay here and I'm going to seek your face until you show up. <laughs> when you get hungry like that, you for get God, hungry like that. I'm telling you, God's going to set fires all over America. And then right. it's going to go outside of the homes. And then the people are going to say, what is it that you have? Because I need it. That's right. The ones that are not Christians. Yeah. And the, the Lord told me, oh, months and months ago, he said, when, when I pour my glory out, <laughs> when this great revival breaks out, he said, more contagious than a wow. very contagious disease is my Jesus. glory going to be? And so when you were my saying God. that about the woman that came to your meeting for the first time and when the glory hit her and she went down on the floor, then one after another after another. Yeah. <laughs> that's Jesus. the contagion. Okay? It's gonna and it's what's happening in, in these revivals in these universities. Whoa! Ha. Yes. Woo. The atmosphere of heaven is coming in and invading that building and it's igniting them and spreading like a contagious disease but a one nice spreading, God. A one <laughs> spreading and drawing the multitudes in and and this is what's happening we don't even have to work at spreading it <laughs> no i'm telling you it's catching that like just wildfire crazy? and think about what the enemy has been doing too all these different diseases and all these different sicknesses but now god is turning it around and his glory is going to down and it's literally going to be like a disease everybody is going to catch it well, it's but it's going to be but it's the <laughs> cure yeah when it's god's glory i mean he's twisting everything he's twisting it or turning it around everything the enemy it's intended the, for our bad what do they call it for our good. the plot twist yes yeah. the plot twist <laughs> In a book, they call it yes, the, 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 plot, the twist. plot twist. Yeah, yes. well, just when you think it's so going to go wait, one direction. Just wait, Satan. Just it's wait. Plot because twist. just watch what I'm getting ready to do. Yeah. Also, with Asbury Revival and the Grammys, okay, they got their mm -hmm. show for five minutes. But look what God did in Asbury, Asbury <laughs> Revival. Look at what he did. You had people traveling from all over the world to go there. Yeah. They I said mean, there that was 10,000 people blew up in the, the, with people on the property on their knees worshiping Jesus yes. in 27 degree in weather. 27 degree oh, weather. Now that's hunger. That's yeah. hunger. And they put up big screens. Big screens. And so, Ooh. though they couldn't get inside, they were worshiping outside, oh, even though it was contained. so cold. They couldn't be contained in the building anymore. So now they were all over the campus and they were even spreading down the street into the city. Yeah, oh, it was for miles, they said, the line down the road. Jesus. Just people hungry to experience the glory of God. And you know what, what I thought about was, you know, when Jesus was crucified, when he said, it is finished, the word of God says that the veil was rent. Yes. The veil was rent on purpose for a reason. Because up until that point, it was only the priest that could go into the holy place. Hmm. But when the veil was rent, it not only allowed us to go in, but it allowed God to come out. Hallelujah. Jesus. So he could visit his people. And that's exactly the prophetic, you know, um, yes. a prophetic 
a, a statement, statement, if you will, in yes. regards to this Asbury revival wow. was what was contained inside in. could not contain inside the four walls anymore. And Jesus. so it's come out and the people are about to be ablaze Woo. with the glory of God on the streets, in the highways, the My byways. God. They're about to experience Jesus. I gave a prophetic word Sunday morning. Yes. Now I'm about to fall out of my seat right I now. Know. The glory of God is so strong. I know. <laughs> I gave a word Sunday morning that, the, and the Lord spoke and he said, the millions, yes. the millions will be in the streets mm. and, and they, they will come to the streets and they will have been shifted and changed. Yes. And, and they, they will say, um, you know, we have, we have, um, been led astray mm -hmm. by the agenda of man. Mm -hmm. But while they're there, I will open up their mindset and, and bring truth. And then I will restore them. Yes. I will save and heal them. And I will fill them with my spirit. Jesus. So the millions are going to come to the streets <laughs> and the glory of God is going to hit them Isn't outside of the church. All over the, all over the streets. Everybody's and then what's the government going to be able yeah, to do? Yeah, they're going to be slaves. <laughs> and the news was trying to get into the Asbury revival, but they said, they said no. But the news wanted to get in there. And, and I think Fox actually was able to speak to one of the, one of the leaders or one of the girls. So it was on Fox. But imagine all these people laid out on the street and in the glory. You know the news is going to be out there. That's right. Definitely. Videoing everything that's going on. That was another word that God gave me a few months ago. He said, what I'm about to do, the news media will have no choice but to speak what I speak, to, yes. to show what I'm doing. Yes. I will take over the media. My God. I will take it over. Woo! Imagine. And all of the world, and the Lord said there will be mm. breaking news at 1, 2, 3, 4, yes. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes. He said throughout the whole day, 24 hours, yes. you'll see breaking, breaking news, news, breaking news, breaking news. He said, <laughs> he I'm about to show up and all the world will know that I am God and Woo! God alone. Hallelujah. Jesus. <laughs> It's going to be incredible, Donna. I'm telling you. Oh, I've seen it in the spirit months and months and months ago. Uh, the Lord brought me through the United States. And I saw people in cages. Oh, ah. and, as, and we were riding on the white horse. I was behind Jesus and he was riding on the white horse. And he would point to these people in cages and the cages would crumble and they would get free. And then when we got to the... We went from the East Coast to the West Coast. And when we got to the West Coast, I saw demons erecting like a cage that went across the whole West Coast of the United States. And then I saw oh, people taking to the streets. The glory of God started pouring down from heaven. And as the glory of God poured down from heaven, the, all these walls came down, cages came down. People were all... Oh, multitudes were in the streets. Then he took me over to the southern part of the United States and I saw people all over the streets worshiping outside in the streets mm. and freedom, freedom for everyone. Ho, ho, ho. And he told wow. me, he Jesus. said, this is what is coming. And one of the times that he took me to see this, he brought me on a butterfly called Change. And he said, I'm mm. taking you to see this on this butterfly called change. I went a number of times and he, through the United States and he showed me different things. And he said, the reason I've taken you to see this because the change that's going to come about is going to be as dramatic as the change that happens when a caterpillar is transformed into a beautiful butterfly. He said, wow. that's the kind of change that's coming to your nation. Whoa. As my wow. glory is poured out. Oh, wow. Those that have been held captive by the enemy through, through corrupt politicians, all the different ways that it's happened to people through sicknesses, disease, mental illness. We've been held captive in many ways. And I'm not talking about the enemy of people, I'm talking demons. You know, yes. we battle not against flesh and blood, but powers and principalities. And the, wherever the demons have been holding people captive through different ways. Oh, 
addictions, uh, spirits yes. of sexual immorality and pornography and whatnot. All those things are coming down. That's yes, the transformation they are. that's coming. The glory is going to come and set people free so that they will yes. be all that God created them to be. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> and as we're, as we're in, in the program, I'm telling you, I didn't even know we'd been going so long. Yes. It's 20 after nine. My gosh. <laughs> As, as we're in in the program, let's just release the glory again. Prophetess, we're going to let you do it. Just speak the word of the Lord, whatever God yeah. speaks. And, and as you pray, just release it to the people. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, I release your glory now. Yes, Lord. Let your yes, glory Lord. set the captives free. Oh, those that are held captive to addiction, those whose loved ones are held captive to any addictions. Oh, I release your glory, Father. Oh, let your glory cause those chains to fall off your children. Oh, ha, those that have been held captive to mental illness, depression, fear, anxiety, sickness, disease. Oh, cancer. Let those bars come down. Oh, let freedom. Oh, I release Freedom to all those that have been held captive by the enemy. In your glory, Father, you told me everything my children need is in my glory. I release your glory now in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of in Jesus. The name of in Jesus. the name of Jesus. And Father, we just see the word of the Lord, what has been established on this program, yes. your glory that has been present. Thank you, Lord, for showing up. Yes, Thank you Lord. for touching your people, those yes. who are watching now and those who will watch on the replay. I just decree and declare, God, that lives shall be changed and transformed yes, forever Lord. in the mighty and glorious name, name of Jesus. Jesus. And if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior, this is your moment. All yes. you have to do is say, Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Be Lord of my life. Yes. And the word of God says, that if you will confess in your heart and through your mouth and you believe in your heart that Jesus Christ was risen from the dead, the word of God says you will be saved. Amen. And the word of God says your name will be written in the Lamb's book of life. So I want to say if you have asked the Father even now into your heart yes. and you've asked him to forgive you of your sins, welcome to the family yes. of God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> glory to welcome, God. Welcome. And we just seal the presence and the glory yes. and the blood of Jesus over this broadcast. And all of you who have watched, we just decree and declare now in the mighty and glorious name that your life will be forever yes, more changed. Forever. And that from this day moving forward, you too will be a glory carrier. And that yes. lives wherever you go will experience the touch of God because of your obedience to love Jesus and to share Jesus wherever you're at. Amen. 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 Prophetess, we love you so much. Yes, we, we love will you have too. you back as always. And always. of course, you know, that's why we we don't always do these live broadcasts because of the, the silly internet. Yes. But but for those of you who have endured and you've been with us, I know your life has been transformed and changed. Yes. And so we're so very, very thankful to have you with us. And of course, prophetess, it's an honor yes. to have you with us today. We, we love, love you, you so much and I uh, cannot wait to hug your neck I and, know. and uh, see you again. She's coming up. She's coming up. <laughs> We're working on glory We're in America in Houston. We're working on it. We, yes, and we so are. again, you know, for all of you who are watching and you enjoyed prophetess Donna and Dr. Manuel and pastor Wren, and of course, Marianne and I, and yes. all of, uh, course, Prophet Charlie, as he was playing yes, that bass, I'm telling you, we had a time, we didn't we? We did have a time. Wow, we had such a phenomenal time. I can't wait for the next I know. <laughs> it's going to be absolutely incredible. So thank you so much, Prophetess, for being with us. We love you. And for all of you, you again, God bless all of you. Thank you so much for being with us today and uh, being a part of this Voice of Destiny broadcast. This was live. I know. Make sure that you get our app. Go to Brett Watts or go to your app store, yes. Google, or your um, uh, Apple store yeah. and get the Brett Watson Ministries app so that you can be notified of when we go live, when we do, um, you know, all of our live streams. Glory in America will also be on there. That's right. Um, so get the app. Make sure you do it. We were live tonight. We'll have to go back and watch and see yes. how it was. So, you know, we may have to, re to redo some things. but. 
But uh, we were live tonight on the yes. app. We're live right now. Yes, we um, are. So make sure you download it and stay in touch with us. We love you. Yes. Thank you so love very you much from Marianne and I, of course, from Prophetess Donna Rigney. All of us, we love you. Have a fabulous night in Jesus, and we will see you very, very, very soon. Very Amen. Soon. God bless you.